Hello and welcome to this video about reporting on CIS within Xero. CIS doesn't currently have a, uh, sorry, Xero doesn't currently have a CIS function um, within the program. So we have to do this little workaround in order to get the functionality. Um, so first of all, what you need to do is create a CIS account within Xero. So if you go over to settings and then chart of accounts, this then shows you a list of every single account that we have within Xero. So um, where you would want to enter your CIS account is probably around your um, PYE. Um, so if we choose account 824 for our CIS um, suffered account. So I'm going to show you from um, a CIS suffered uh, perspective. Um, it's basically the same from um, the CIS deducted. But what were from a CIS deducted perspective, but um, I'll show you the CIS suffered so I can also show you the refund within the payroll section. So it's CIS suffered account is now added. Um, so now we're going to create a sales invoice. So sales and then new. I'm just going to enter some dummy data into here. So I'll call this guy Big Contractor 1, choose today's date, just tab through these, um, changes the tax exclusive. I don't know why the demo company defaults to that. So um, we'll just call the top one labor and unit price a thousand and just stick this to the sales account. So this is where the trick comes in. So we've got suffered here, we we'll choose one and you have to choose this as a negative Therefore, it's then deducting from your subtotal over here. And we choose account CIS suffered, the one we just created. We'll just type out CIS, and then we can either tab through and it will select it. And um, the tax rate's always no VAT on CIS suffered um, because we don't want it to interfere with the um, VAT down here. Um, so now we can approve this invoice and it will create the CIS suffered transaction within the CIS suffered account. Click approve. Okay, that's great. So now we've created that transaction. So now we need to know how much to report for our CIS suffered. So if we click on reports and then all reports, I'm just going to hold down control when I click on all reports. So that opens it in a new tab for me. Um, so if we go down to account transactions, um, we, can, we can start this um, to favorite it. Um, by doing that, it then shows up in up here. So when you click on reports, you've got account transactions report. If we then look at the CIS suffered account, we'll choose our date range as if we were actually going to submit this. And update. So this now shows that transaction from the invoice. However, CIS is recorded and declared to HMRC on a cash basis. So actually we don't want to show this invoice. Sorry, we don't want to show this transaction because it hasn't yet been, um, we haven't yet received the money on this invoice. So if we go to report settings, we can change the accounting basis for this report to cash. I click update and now we don't show any data because the invoice hasn't yet been received. So we'll just jump back over to this invoice and pay it off. So at the bottom here, this is the invoice we approved earlier. We get amount paid, we'll just pay it as if today and we'll pay it from our bank current account. Add the payment, and our invoices are all paid off. So if we go back over to our report now, we'll click on update. Now we can see that um, we've received um, uh, the invoice amount from big contractor one um, and the CIS element of that is 200 pounds. So now we want to report to HMRC that we've received, um, sorry, we've had 200 pounds withheld from us so we can get that refunded from our payroll. Um, if you don't have enough PYE, you can also get it refunded via your VAT. 
but it's more common for it to be refunded for your payroll. Just click on RTI filing again because it's in the demo company. So at the top here we've got schedule EPS. So EPS just stands for employer payment summary and it's the way that um, HMRC knows how much, um, what's a way of reporting to HMRC what you've been, um, what, how, how much um, CIS you've suffered. So we can now schedule this for £200. And that £200 will then be offset against our um, RTI filing for our PAYE. So that will reduce our liability and how, how much we have to pay HMRC. Um, so that is CIS suffered in a nutshell. Um, it's the same way for CIS deducted. Um, I'd recommend that you create a separate account for CIS deducted just to make the reporting easier. Um, so when you go on to your CIS um, return, you can choose between your CIS suffered or your CIS deducted to get to um, to have a cleaner report for that. If you've got a lot of um, uh, CIS transactions going through, it makes it a lot easier. Um, and it's the same way you just do do the report on a cash basis again. That's in um, report settings, accounting basis cash. Um, click update, and then it will show up CIS um, deducted and who it was um, uh, who who you've deducted it from. You can then go on to your HMRC gateway and report on your CIS return um, who that amount has been deducted from. Um, and that is it. Thank you.